All right, guys. Matt West to review here back again. So today we are taking apart a BMW at our local salvage yard. It's where you can find me on most Saturdays. So this is a 2001 BMW 325i, and I got a two or a 99. Um, 323i which is essentially the same vehicle and uh this particular one is basically done i don't know had a pretty bad accident we're not trying to take the motor the fan any of those components um but we are grabbing a plethora of parts aesthetic pieces so like the wood grain trim um cd player which I'm gonna trade out for something else. Uh, temperature control or climate control. Um, electronics does have a BMW battery in it back, which I found pretty interesting. Uh, let's see here. And the trunk didn't have a CD player, but I imagine it does have the, um, what do you call it? The uh, amplifier, if we needed an amp. Uh, and those amps are pretty expensive for this car. I think when I looked it up online, they were somewhere around like 150 to 200 on eBay. What I'm most interest, interested in is the interior. The problem is, is that I did not bring, I was trying to work lightly today. And so I didn't bring everything I needed. All I brought was my bag here. And I filled that up with what I thought I was gonna need um, and primarily this Silver Eagle um, Matco set, which has been crazy reliable. The problem is it only goes up to a 9 16th on the SAE and a 15 on the metric. And the seat bolts, I assume, are probably a 17 millimeter, which are down there and there and in the front. So luckily enough it's saturday so we can come back again tomorrow and do some more work um, a little tip for you guys if you have the noco it's actually a good idea to bring it this is the gb40 because when you're trying to take off certain components if you have to put power to the car um, granted the battery shouldn't probably be in here but if you have to put uh, power to the car by having um this GB40 power pack with you, you can do that and you can move the seats. You can test out a lot of the other components before you buy. So it's a great way to put power to some of the electronics in the event that you need to take them. And you don't wanna buy them unless you um, have confirmation that they're good. I got several of the other components up here. I wanted to do one of these. Don't need this per se, but because I'm gonna get it for cheap and uh, it'll be updating the one that I currently got in my car, uh, that'd be nice. And like I said, this CD player here is gonna to go to a coworker who's gonna trade me out for some other stuff. So that'll work out. But I uh, thought I'd just show you, I came here to get some parts from my OBS, which I'm still gonna be looking around at a couple of other OBS. Uh, trucks, the Chevys, Z71s, Silverados, all of that to kind of see what they got. Uh, but for the most part, everything's good. This particular car, because the keys weren't in it, I had to go through the trunk or the back seat rather through the uh, ski hole for your skis in the back, kicked out the back plate and then able to grab the emergency latch to pop the trunk, which gave me access to the battery. Just something you're going to have to be think about those kind of things when you're pulling cars at a salvage yard because sometimes the keys are there sometimes people need the fobs especially on these european cars and the uh keys may not necessarily be there in this case here it was not um really wish i had brought a larger socket set i think i do have something in my car uh carry a smaller tool kit for my car in the car and i'll double check to see if perhaps i do have that I also took the little door pieces here for the lock because I need the uh, plastic covers. These things are really expensive. And uh, when I bought my car, I didn't have them on there. So 
Uh, although a lot of people like these tool kits that come with the cars, I always see what they have in them. And then if I need something, I'll grab it. In this case here, I didn't. So um, yeah, I thought I would just show you guys what we're doing today. There's a GMC truck over here. Gotta make sure I wash my tools. That's another thing too, when you come to the salvage yards, make sure you keep an eye on your equipment so nobody walks off with your tools. So we won't stray too far, but here's another one. Um, and what was cool about this one here is that it had, well, it did have, I don't know if it does anymore. It's got the CD player in the back and uh, it's got the CD exchanger right, rather in the back and interior is trashed on this one here. I always try to make sure that I keep the doors closed on the vehicles that I go into. So that way, if I ever have to come back, or hell, if someone else has to come back, they can get them. But see, here's the, the, the CD tray. I don't have CDs, so um, I don't listen to CDs, so I really don't need it. But um, kind of cool that it is here. Uh, it's a great day. Not hot, sun's not really out. So you're not burning up. Another thing to think about is hydration. Make sure you get water uh, and something. Keep yourself hydrated. But yeah, so this is the project for today. Sorry for all the shakiness. Um, but I'm going to continue looking over this car here, seeing what else I can pull off. And uh, maybe I'll pick this back up when I find another OBS. All right, guys, this is day two of my salvage yard um, projects, I guess, if you will. So as you guys can see, we have a lifted uh, Z71 Silverado, you know, whatever you want to call it, OBS Chevy. And uh, it's got a rough country lift kit on it. So... Um, you can see there, everything's there. Um, got the blocks, got the shocks, cross members, shackles. Everything you could possibly need is right here. Um, I don't know, you guys tell me in the comment section. But it looks like this is probably a six inch lift. Um, and I don't see like anything else that would suggest that it is, um, you know, like a 30 inch lift with like some coil spring lifters or something like that um so i think this is pretty pretty much all rough country the kit itself these kits if it, if this is what i believe it is it's about 9.95 off the rough country website and um as you guys know i'm building a obs chevy so or i've pretty much completed one but um now that i found this rough country lift kit on this one here I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Um, I am, I realized today that uh, I didn't have, I don't have the wheel locks. Sorry, I heard a bunch of noise. I don't have the wheel locks. So I'm gonna have to order a master wheel lock kit in order to pull off um, these wheels, which I'm thinking about keeping, I don't know yet. If I kept them, I would probably, obviously they need new tires, but we would probably um, coat the wheels bronze and black, do bronze and black, like a kind of like a, where everything you see is chrome would be bronze and the black portions would be obviously black. I don't know yet. Another guy came over, said he liked them. And um, so I got to decide if I'm going to take them off and leave them for him or keep them myself. So, but uh, yeah, so we're going to be taking this whole thing apart. Uh, shout out to right tools um, I am using as you see their sockets their swivel sockets universal swivel sockets metrics um, came in handy I mean I've got them all sp spread out everywhere here um, but yeah they they're, they're working out really nicely uh, I also have um, my Milwaukee stuff out today got the half inch shout out to Justin Dow um, I've got the right angle impact um, I also brought my trusty cobalt impacts, both the quarter inch hex and the three H drive. P 
picked up this Cat Tools um, light because I thought maybe I may need that today. They're on sale at like for eight bucks at Lowe's if you have a Lowe's in your area. Got the Daytona Jack working out. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, man, I tell you what, this has been a, a dream. This right tools um, adjustable. Man, I needed this thing so badly today. More so than I've ever needed a adjustable wrench ever um, while mechanicing. So, yeah, you know, this has been a been a job. Um, it's probably going to take me. I'm probably going to spend about four hours on it today, and then maybe follow up. I don't know if they're open tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll check back in with you in a few, and I'll show you what we've gotten. Update, boys and girls able to get the rims off um <laughs> i don't even know what socket i use uh where's my half inch ratchet uh 19 Pittsburgh pro came in clutch i don't know how it worked with those but it did um got these big bitches off so still questioning whether or not i'm going to keep them Vision Wheel, I guess is the name of the company. They look fine, but they'll clean up even better. Get those stupid tires off there and do my thing with them. Um, they may just go all bronze. I'm going to keep them. I think I'm going to keep them. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad because someone else wanted them. But I kind of wanted them before he came over. I just hadn't decided yet. And I told him I would, uh, if I could get them off, uh, you know. I'll probably set them off to the side, but I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I should keep them. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so we got it off. So that's going to help us out here with getting the rest of the lift kit off. I did forget one tool, which is to clamp to compress the um, torsion um the keys so i'm gonna have to go grab that and come back it's early enough i've got all day it's not even noon where i'm at <coughs> <coughs> sorry still suffering from that sinus infection um <clears throat> so we're gonna continue taking off as much of this as, as we can and then uh we'll probably pick this back up when we're done with the front um, and on to the rear. So, all right, guys, now I gotta find some way to jack this truck up because you see, they use tires here. I gotta go find some rims so I can stick it under this front axle and then I can uh, start working on the opposite side. Tell you what, man, make sure you guys have yourself a nice set and array of tools when you come out here because I mean, I, uh, I had one tool I forgot, and that was my clamp to do that torsion keys. But <clears throat> other than that, man, I've been using everything that I've got uh, to do this. So fun day, man. I'm in, I'm enjoying it. This is where I'm happy. I am, you know, when I'm not at home with the family. I don't want to make it sound like I'm not happy at home. Um, but this is where I'm happy when I'm out doing stuff. Um, so, yeah, wish I had a, a buddy out here with me. But everybody else has got stuff that they're doing. So um, we're just going to do a one-man show. So, all right, guys. I'll pick this back up when we're in the rear. All right, guys. This is going to be it for today. I am done. I didn't get everything off that I wanted, but I got enough off that uh, no one else is going to come and take it while I'm not, while I'm away. So, all right, guys. Here's everything. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. I'm just, I'm done. I'm just done. So those, that's my haul. I still got a lot of suspension parts that are loose, but I got to jack it up in a certain way to take the tension off so I can take the cross members off and all that. All the hardware that we're going to keep. Sight, torsion, um, bar. And we haven't done the back yet either, so 
that's it for today i'm whooped once again shout out to right tools a right tool man i could not have done it without their stuff today um i don't even know where i put it oh let's see here this is the star of the show today this is uh, a 12 inch uh, adjustable and um, this is the star of the show so thank you right tools for making quality and made american made tools that just work they, they come through when you need them and they just work so you know working on an american made truck with american made tools what more can you ask for all right guys i'm out before i pass out peace